What's up everyone? My name is Fahad Siddiqui. I'm a pediatric dentist here in Michigan. I am Ahad Ahmad and I'm a general dentist practicing in Texas. Welcome to the Two Brown Dentists. If you're new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe and like our page on Facebook and Instagram. Don't forget to check out our other videos. We do dental podcasts, personal vlogs, and a lot of other fun stuff. So what is this video about? This video is about some tips for you to get into dental school here in the US, especially if you're a foreign trained dentist. Learn to manage your time, which means that you have to apply as soon as possible. For that, you have to contact your home school administration and faculty for recommendation letters and your transcripts and request the recommendation letters from the most relevant people. If you're applying to a clinical program, a clinical faculty member who you worked with back home will be a more relevant option as compared to someone that you have shadowed in the US for just a few months. And if possible, have a mix of local evaluators and from your school back home. This will definitely increase the strength of your application. A personal statement is a very important component in your application. So how can you write a good one? I would say you should start with a story, a story that is compelling, a story that describes the incidents which made you believe that dentistry is actually the profession for you. Be original, don't just copy things off the internet, no generic stuff. You have to write about your unique experiences, what sets you apart. Express your qualities fully, but also be humble. So describe your experiences, skills, talents, like for example, you could be into arts and crafts or you could be into sports. Maybe those things can help you with dexterity in dental school. Let your family, colleagues and friends read your application. Let them criticize it. It will only help you improve your statement and see it from another perspective. And start working on your CV or a resume. It should consist of your current and past education, your past work experience, any kind of teaching experience, the awards that you have received in the past, some research experience, some CEs or certifications that you may have, and the languages that you speak. Try to limit your CV within two pages because the evaluators get so many CVs and they don't like to be overwhelmed with a lot of information. So just make it short and concise and to the point. Obviously, if you have made it to the interview, you're only one step close to being accepted in the school. So how can you prepare for the interview? Of course, the general stuff, dress well, be on time. But what are some of the specifics that you need to know? You should research the school thoroughly. This will help you explain or express that you have already looked into the school you're really interested in. Be prepared to describe who you are. Just don't read off your CV or your personal statement. They have already read it. Now, this is your opportunity to tell them how you are as a person, what your unique experiences are, what are the things that you do outside of dentistry, what makes you an interesting person. As a foreign trained dentist, I would also describe my training back home. So what were the strengths of my program? What are some of the gaps that I have in my education, which I'm looking to fill through this education program? Ask your questions. Asking your question not only help you gain more insight about the school, but it also lets them think that you have a critical mind and you can ask critical questions. Be conscious of your conduct, both verbal and non-verbal. So don't make faces, don't roll your eyes, be nice, talk to other people, show them that you could be a nice addition to the group. Send a thank you note for a follow-up. Obviously this is just basic etiquettes, but it also shows them that you are interested in their program. One should have a very good GPA and a good GPA means anything above 3.0. A lot of people ask us that if they have a GPA below 3, that doesn't mean that they will not get admission, but they have to improve their CV or resume by doing some more academics. They have to take some CE, they may have to shadow a dentist and learn some clinical aspects. Some people do a master's degree, like a master's in public health or a master's in dental sciences. This is the time when you can have a better GPA in these master's program and show the evaluators that what you're capable of. I cannot emphasize more the importance of English if you have to pursue a program in the US or practice dentistry. How can you improve your English? I would say watch a lot of movies, TV shows, read books. You can talk to your friends in English. Talk out loud, talk to yourself, talk to a camera. It will improve your English overall, the way you talk, the way you write, the way you read, and that would help you also get a good TOEFL score, which you know is important in strengthening your application. 
In the end, if you liked our video, please leave a like and a comment and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already done it, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you have any more questions about the admission process or about dentistry in general in the US, email us at twobrowndentists at gmail.com. You can message us on Facebook or you can leave your comment and we'll try to answer your question. So until next time, take care of yourself and don't forget to subscribe.